the Thoughty OT podcast. Well, you see, what I think's happened in my generation is the Asperger types. I know that they officially don't use it where there was socially awkward, no speech delay. Sure. Those people went ahead and got decent careers, learned how to work at an early age. But their relationships and marriages were very problematic, sure. and they didn't have any idea why. Then the kids like me, severe speech delay. When I was three, I was a complete mess. I'm like, I was the kind of kid they would just throw away in an institution in the 50s. But fortunately, I was very That's lucky to get into a very good early speech program that two teachers taught in the basement of their home. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, the 50s upbringing was helpful. Kids played outside and did all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had a good childhood. Teenage life was terrible. Yeah. Um, and see, this is the problem you got with autism. You're going to Elon Musk, who has publicly announced it, sure. to somebody who can't dress themselves, and you got the same name for it. Yeah. That's, I, I, I think, I, a I problem. Agree with you. I agree. I think it's a big problem because they got very different needs. Mm-hmm. You know, we also have. Some individuals with an autism label where where they got very severe epilepsy and other problems, yeah. uh, they're not going to be doing engineering or art or photography or something mm-hmm. like that. But some of those individuals can type independently. Yeah. And they have a good brain inside there. And we need to be, I always, all my formal presentations talk about the ones who can type independently, like Tito Makapate, Carly, and then, of course, Noki, the Japanese boy. I always talk about that. And how we need to be, you know, giving them that opportunity. They can do that. But I'm, I'm I, when I talk to businesses, I, this comes from a background of being in business. I didn't just sell cattle handling facilities based on being nice to cattle. Yes, I brought that up. I told them how they'd make money if they had my equipment. That's yeah. how I sold equipment. Yeah. And then right now I'm saying, you need this visual thinker who can't do algebra. Because mm-hmm. your factory is going to fall apart otherwise. Mm-hmm. You need a, you need people like me who cannot do algebra. Your factory's not going to run. How about things like wastewater treatment? Mm-hmm. The power plant. Yeah, you need the mathematicians for the power load, but you also need people like me to keep the plant running. Sure. I mean, I want I gotta make sure the suits that are in charge know that. <laughs> I love See, that you call is, them. Suits. This is sort of how I push things. We need, we really do need all the different kinds of minds. Yeah. And and the other thing that I that I think is important is not talking about vaguely. Let's talk about accommodations in the workplace that are easy. The pilot's checklist. Sure. Don't be vague. On um, maybe some sensory breaks. Mm-hmm. Keeping out of the jobs with the crazy multitasking. Sure. These are simple things. And where I've seen a lot of problems in the workplace is when the boss changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, been, that's often problematic. So I suppose that they're your key uh, authority figure in, this, in, this, in, in the workplace. And if you have a good relationship with them and they get you and they, they make adjustments for you, you, you have some but other you see, and I think, see, we're talking about making world. adjustments in a very vague way. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Where the, I'm going to be very specific about the pilot's checklist and the bullet points, mm-hmm. because I can think of like 10 examples where if they'd done that, the jobs wouldn't have been lost. And it's sure. a very specific, very simple accommodation. And I think it's hard for the verbal thinker to understand that maybe I can't remember a 10 steps they want me to do. Mm-hmm. I've got to write them down. You see, and then you get into other disabilities. I, I'm, I'm, where a blind person that should have been hired for a call center job, customer service job, didn't get the job. See, my mind doesn't think in in in, in generalities. Sure, and, I understand. I... And I think the problem with the guy is the H. He was interviewing with HR, and I think they just take one look at the guide dog and go, "Oh, the accommodation is going to be too hard." <sighs> you see, I think a better approach would be, "Okay, you see my dog, you're freaking out right now." Why don't I give you a two-week free trial? I only need one accommodation, yeah. the special software, and it won't wreck your computer system. It's got this security and that security. And my friend will come in with me for an entire week so we can learn the office. Sure. 
if I had been approached that way, he got turned down from like 10 jobs. It was awful. Really Jesus. articulate blind guy. That was terrible. But tell the employer how the accommodation is easy and mm-hmm. what it is. Special, there's only one thing that corporation had to provide, and that was the special software. He had his everything else he would provide. Sure. His favorite keyboards, headphones, just all his other stuff he'd provide. And there might have to be some adjustment made on jacks. And no, my stuff's not going to wreck your computer system. So, yeah, but I'm approaching talk, it talk. more from an engineering approach, like how <laughs> I I thought it was disgusting that he was turned down from ten jobs. 